Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Morning Prayer for Tuesday, December the 7th. It's the second week in Advent, and week two in the Psalm Cycle. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Vindicate me, O God, for I have walked with integrity. Psalms 26 and 28, and please recite them with me. Vindicate me, O God, for I have walked with integrity. I have trusted in you, and therefore I shall not waver. Examine me, my God, and prove me. Test my mind and my heart, for your loving kindness is before me, and I have walked in your truth. I have not sat with useless people, nor do I go with hypocrites. I have hated the congregation of evildoers, and will not sit with the wicked. I wash my hands in innocence, and so I come to your altar, O God, that I may sing with the voice of thanksgiving and tell of all your wondrous works. O God, I have loved your house, the place where you dwell. Do not gather me with sinners, nor my life with the bloodthirsty. In their hands are evil deeds, and their right hands are full of bribes. But as for me, I will walk with integrity. Redeem me and be merciful to me. My foot stands on level ground. I will bless you in the congregations. Amen. I cry to you, my rock, hear me and answer, lest I become like them that go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry to you, when I lift my hands toward your holy place. Draw me not away with the wicked, nor with the workers of iniquity, which speak peace to their neighbors, but with evil plans in their hearts. Repay them according to their deeds, and according to the wickedness of their endeavors. Repay them according to the work of their hands. Render to them their just deserts, because they do not regard your actions, nor the works of your hands. You, do, you shall destroy them and not build them up. Blessed are you, because you have heard my prayers. You are my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in you, and I am helped. My heart greatly rejoices, and with my song I will praise you. You are the strength of your people. You are the safe refuge of your anointed. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed them and lift them up forever. Amen. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Vindicate me, O God, for I have walked with integrity. Amen. A reading from the prophet Amos, chapter 7, beginning at verse 10. Amaziah complains to the king. Then Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, sent to King Jeroboam of Israel, saying, Amos has conspired against you in the very center of the house of Israel. The land is not able to bear all his words. For thus Amos has said, Jeroboam shall die by the sword, and Israel must go into exile away from this land. And Amaziah said to Amos, O seer, go, flee away to the land of Judah, earn your bread there, and prophesy there. But never again prophesy at Bethel, for it is the king's sanctuary, and it is a temple of the kingdom. And then Amos answered Amaziah, I am no prophet nor a prophet's son, but I am a herdsman and a dresser of sycamore trees. And the Most High took me from following the flock, and the Most High said to me, Go prophesy to my people Israel. Now, therefore, hear the word of the Most High. You say, Do not prophesy against Israel, and do not preach against the house of Isaac. Therefore, thus says the Most High, Your wife shall become a prostitute in the city, and your sons and your daughters shall fall by the sword, and your land shall be parceled out by line, and you yourself shall die in an unclean land, and Israel shall surely go into exile away from its land. Here ends the lesson. And 
And now let us offer our prayers and petitions for the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people. For Michael, our presiding bishop, for Jennifer Ann, our bishop, for Brother Joe, our community servant, and for all of our church leaders, for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments. For our unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed for the poor, for the hungry and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine. For Joe, our president, and Doug, our governor, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth that God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. For those who died, especially Brother John William David, Margaret, Brother Richard Bradley, Brother Donald Columba, Bill Foster, and Henry. For all who serve in harm's way. For the victims of terrorism and violence. For those who are sick and suffer, especially those with COPD and the COVID-19 pandemic for the aged and the infirm, especially those suffering from dementia, for all of those struggling with addiction, especially Bill, for the Mercy of God community, for Brother Joe, Brother Tom, Brother Todd, Brother Richard, Brother Bill, Brother Max, Brother Bill, and all the Mercy of God associates. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O oh, merciful God, full of loving kindness, redeem us from our iniquities. Place our feet on level ground and guide us in your truth. Admit us to your house and allow us to sing your praises around your table. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may God bless us and protect us. May God shine his face upon us and be gracious to us. May God favor us and grant us peace. Source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. Amen.